Yeah, this is crazy. Um, this is crazy because I didn't know how this is going to go this morning. I'm going to give you a scripture first. I'm going to give you a scripture first. Uh, Hebrews chapter 5, verse 7 says, Who in the days of his flesh, when he had mm -hmm. offered up prayers and supplications and vehement cries and tears to him, who was able to save him from death and was heard because of his godly fear. Mm -hmm. Anybody ever anybody ever had to pray with tears in your eyes? Yes. 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 Anybody, anybody know what it feels yes. like? Have to pray a prayer with tears in your eyes. Yes, yes. Wonderful. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, praying a prayer and the tears just wouldn't stop flowing, but you oh, prayed yes. anyhow. Thank uh, you. Yes. Uh, I'm a. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a try to. I'm a try to give you the big picture this morning, mm -hmm. and, and hopefully, not discourage someone this morning. I know there's some people on here who prayed with tears in their eyes and. The prayer that you prayed for, God gave you a definite no for an answer. Anybody knows what that feels like? Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you where you were. Mm -hmm. You had a family member that was on their deathbed. Mm -hmm. and, and you were praying, Lord, allow them to live. Uh, Lord, heal their body. Lord, keep them. And the answer was no. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a specific person that you wanted the Lord to protect from their dangerous lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you prayed and you were praying with tears in your eyes and the ultimate answer because they chose not to change their ways. Mm -hmm. His answer was a definite no for an answer and it crushed you. Mm -hmm. anybody, anybody know what I'm talking about this morning? Yes, um, God. Um, you prayed for a situation to change on your job. Mm -hmm. Because you thought that if it changed on your job, the Lord would have a greater way in his work. And the answer that you got was a definite no. Uh -huh. um, you prayed for a change in your finances, immediate change in your finances. But still, you kept doing destructive things with your finances. And the answer that you got from the Lord was a definite no. Uh -huh. So, so I'm going to ask the question this morning for those of you who are praying. Mm -hmm. What if the Lord gave you a definite no as an answer to your prayer request? Mm -hmm. Can you can you handle that? Mm -hmm. Or have you ever thought that your prayer request may be getting in the way of something bigger that the mm -hmm. Lord has planned either for you or someone other than you? Mm -hmm. I want you all to think about that. The life of Jesus shows the model for our prayers mm -hmm. and our lives. Um, and I want you to understand that the Lord is looking to mold us into his, into the image of his son. Mm -hmm. okay. Brad, where do you get that from? You can, get, you can find that in Colossians chapter 1, verses 27 through 28. See, if, we're, if, we're, if we are to act like Jesus, then our prayer lives have to be conformed to his. Mm -hmm. and, and many Christians aren't willing to pay the price that Jesus paid when it comes to interceding with the Father. Um, Jesus' prayers many times came with crying and tears because, truthfully, of his godly fear. Mm -hmm. And he was heard by the Father. You know, we, we know that, right? But why then <clears throat> did the Father, why did the Father refuse his request? Mm -hmm. It was not due to any sin in Jesus' life, nor was it because the father didn't love his son. Mm -hmm. The father said no in the garden, y'all. Mm -hmm. Right? Despite his amazing love he had for his son, because he knew that he couldn't spare his son and save the world at the same time. Mm -hmm. In the same way, the Lord can't always spare you it's going to be tough for somebody this morning. Mm -hmm. The Lord can't always spare you and your family and can com complete the redemptive work in those that are around you. See, my wife prayed a prayer over me a few days ago. Mm -hmm. I, I was in a funk, man. I was in a funk, y'all. I was, I was in a bad headspace. 
Mm-hmm. I was I was irritated. I'm just telling y'all. I'm talking about me now. I ain't talking about y'all. Mm-hmm. Um, and in the midst of her prayer for me, I'm be honest with you. I didn't hear all the words she was praying because I was sitting there. I was ticked off because of some of the stuff that was being done and how it was being done and the lack of consideration. But it was some words that she prayed in her prayer reader that I heard when she said, and Lord, please allow him to know that this isn't about him. Mm -hmm. I I get to work that day, Mm -hmm. still in a funk. And a young man comes up to my desk and he sits down and asks me how I'm doing. And because I trust him, I start to have this conversation with him and, in the midst of this conversation, he says, yeah, you have you have all right to feel like you feel. He says, but one thing I know about you that is at the right time, you won't allow it to be about you. Mm-hmm. And I said, Lord, thank you. Mm-hmm. For the yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So so the Lord can not always spare you and your family and complete his redemptive work in those around you. And I asked this question, are you willing to deny some of your pleas? Mm-hmm. for God to do what he is going to do. Will mm-hmm. you intercede with the Father so deeply and intimately that even in the midst of your tears, you're able to say, nevertheless, not my will, Lord. Yeah. But let your will be done. My God. Uh, yes, God. You need yeah. to know. You need to know. Yes, you need to know this morning. And I know someone's like Brown Hop and you come out like this. But you need to know that this is bigger than you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Father will always, always mm-hmm. relate to you out of the context of his love for a lost world. See, he sees the bigger picture. Mm-hmm. Sometimes y'all gonna go through some stuff because he sees the bigger picture. Sometimes he's not gonna take that person out that did you wrong, that you like, Lord, kill him, Lord, hurt him, Lord, punish him, because his desire to see that person saved just like you are. Amen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I want y'all to hear me. Amen. So has the father said no to one of your requests lately, do you believe? Mm-hmm. And if he has, this is what I'm saying to you. You got to learn to accept his answer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something that rings in my mind when things go crazy in my life, Rita, and it gets real heavy. I remember what a preacher said to me decades ago when I was coming into uh, ministry. They said to me, one of the biggest things we have to learn to do is to accept what the Lord has allowed. Mm -hmm. And another thing we have to be able to do this morning, I'm telling someone this morning, is we have to be able to accept whatever his answer is to our prayers. Whether Whether it's yes and amen, or whether it's a flat out no. I got something bigger I'm working on and it ain't about you. Mm. H- have you been learning obedience through what you have been suffering is the question. Has what you've been suffering from or going through taught you any more obedience yet? And if you have, God may choose you to make you a source of salvation for somebody else, just like he did with Jesus, y'all. Mm. So I want you to understand that not always does your tears move the Lord to move in the way that you want him to move. Mm -hmm. Because he sees something so much bigger than you and I. Sometimes he has to allow a no to take place in our lives so that he can save some of our loved ones or some of the people that we're dealing with, some of the people that we don't even like. Mm Mm-hmm. So again, I just wanted to encourage you this morning to be able to say, Lord, I am willing, I am willing to accept what you have allowed. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm willing to accept what you have allowed. Yeah. I understand that if you answer some of my prayer requests with the yes that I want you to give me, it's going to mess up the larger scheme that you have set in place. Hallelujah. So, Father, this morning, I come to you yes, thanking Lord. you for being sovereign over our situation. My God. And I also pray for those who are praying with tears in their eyes today. I pray for those, Father God, who will be praying with tears in their eyes. 
in the days to come. I pray, Father God, that you allow us, if we find ourselves in that lonely moment, to be able to trust in your omniscience. My God. That you know exactly what's going on. You know exactly what you're doing, Father. Yeah. I ask you, Father God, to give us the mindset to trust that you are sovereign over every situation. And for us to know that sometimes the prayers that we pray in tears is not what, what we're asking for is not what you would have in your will. My mm. Lord. We continue to pray for our children, Father, but we pray that not that you would do everything with our children, but we pray that our children would submit to you. Because Hallelujah. we understand that, Father, that is a choice that they have to make. We continue to pray that you would free our loved ones. From the, yeah. from the bonds of addiction, Father God. But we also know that they have to make a choice, Father God, for, to be free. Yes, yeah. We also know, Father God, that sometimes the things that we think are best are not best because you have a bigger plan in place. So I pray that you would touch the hearts and minds of your children this morning. More than anything else, let your will be done. Mm -hmm. And I ask, Father God, that whatever it is that we have to go through, that you strengthen our hands. And that as my sister quoted this morning, Father God, we trust in you with all our heart and all our mind. And teach us not to lean into our own understanding. But we acknowledge that you are God, you are sovereign. Mm -hmm. And we believe that you will direct our path. Yes. So I'm asking that you would comfort the hurting heart this morning, that you would yes, ease Lord. the troubled mind this morning, Father God, that you would put clarity in the mind of someone who is feeling lost today. Yes. That they are not forsaken and they're not forgotten. Father, and Father, you. give us the strength, Father God, when we can't have it our way My to accept the things that you have allowed. Yes. As we look through our lives and see several situations, Father God, that didn't turn out the way that we pray for them to happen. But yet we know that there is nothing that has escaped your sovereignty. So today, Father God, we choose to accept the thing that you have allowed, knowing that your way is the only way. Let healing Amen. rest in the sick room today. Let deliverance Amen. rest, Father God, on those that are wrapped up, tied up, and tangled up in sin. Yes, Father. I pray, God. Father God, that you would restore the wrecks of the lives that we have created along the way. Thank you, Father. Yeah. I ask you, Father Thank God, you. that you would strengthen the hands of the servant who was feeling weak this morning. Thank you, Father. Yes. Yeah. But all in all, Father God, we say it. Today we choose. Thank you, Father. To accept what you have allowed. Thank you, Father. Yeah. And in the midst of and in the midst of it all, we give you our hallelujahs. Yes. In the midst of it all, Father God, we still say thank you. Yes. And in yes. the midst of our tears, we still choose to trust you, Father God. Thank you. Yes. Because we know that your way is best. Yes, we Father. know that yes. your love for us is never ending. Yes, Father. We know, yes. Father God, that your grace abounds in our life, even we when we don't understand what's going on. Yes, so today you receive the praise today. Thank you. Someone's offering a sacrifice of praise today because they really don't feel like praising, but they still yet know that you're praiseworthy. Yes. And yes. Father God, we continue to say thank you even when we don't know what we're thanking you for. Yes. Because yes. we know you, you. Have, we, you know what's best for us. Yes. We know that you know what's best for our family. Yes. We know, Father God, that you're not just focusing on our household, but you have the whole world to consider in your scheme. Mm -hmm. So I ask, Father God, that you would allow peace to reside in the homes this morning. In the name of Jesus. And also, yes. Father God, we ask, Father God, that you would let love abound in the heart of Amen. the one who's been, who's been offended, Father. Mm -hmm. Guide our footsteps today, Father God. Yes. Yes. Allow yes. the word to occupy the battlefield of our mind today as the enemy attempts to disrupt what you have already begun as far as the work in us. In the name of Jesus. Thank you My for speaking over our lives when we are being told that we are more than conquerors. Yes, thank you. Thank yes. you, Father God, that even though we see weapons, we know that they won't accomplish the mission, Father God. And thank you, thank Father you. God, for the home that you are preparing for us right now. 
But when Thank it's all over, yeah. Father. So today we say hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Today yeah, we say hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you. Today we give you praise. Thank you, Father. Today we honor Thank your very you, existence. We're grateful that you mm -hmm. thought about us enough to lean over our bedsides and give us the nudge one more time. And so today, Lord, show us how not to waste the gift that you've given us today. Yes. Show us how to maximize every heartbeat and breath that we use today yes. on today's journey. And Father, we pray that you receive praise, honor, and glory in all my the Lord. things that we say, think, and do today. Yes, so Lord. this is my prayer in the matchless name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen.